couple of concluding remarks as far as we're concerned. One is I, I want to make something to quote, something we all know perfectly clear. I cannot, I cannot this afternoon as a representative of the White House also play judge. You know, I've heard the, the things you've said. We've all heard the things you've said. I cannot simply stand here and say, yes, I agree with you, Chairman Wilson is a so-and-so, or his government is such-and-such. I hear it, I've heard every word you say, but I'm not the judge. I haven't got all the facts in my hands, and I haven't got, I'm not trying to hear both sides, I haven't heard both sides, so please don't put me in the position, or don't go away and quote me, or don't go away and say, the White House this afternoon said that Dick Wilson is a so-and-so. <laughs> all I'm saying is this, that Indian people all over the country must have fair tribal government. For <laughs> well, the President's message is, a, is, I say, leaning on a weak reed, leaning on hundreds of weak reeds. And we are going to try to make sure that that happens. Mr. Franklin is, is in, his, in his practically inaugural message is saying that. I'm saying that. <clears throat> and we will try to do that. But, but it is, it is uh, I'm not trying to prejudge anybody here. Now, I'm going to say one other thing. I suppose, I suppose you're going to boo me for this, but if you want me to speak with forked tongue, I'll, I'll speak differently. But I don't think you do. I think you want me to speak straight to you. You spoke about the possibility of other wounded knees. I could not speak to you honestly from the White House if I were to tell you that the President uh, would look on the prospect of more wounded knees uh, with any equanimity. Uh, that is not the way that Indian people or any other people in our society uh, are going to really, in the long range, get real progress. Uh, really, it, raises, it raises enmity, it gets the President mad, it gets the Congress mad, it gets the American public mad in the long run. And I could not be here among you and here near that place uh, with any implication that we are here because of that, or we in any way condone that. I hope that you will take this message to all your friends. I could not bring you any other message from the President than that. We have a, so much to work for. We have a legislative proposals that have been, been, been sitting around moldering in the Congress for three years. We now have some prospects, I believe, the hearings and they're going to move. For us, that is one of the major places where the action is where this question of fairness in tribal government is one of the places where the action is. These are positive places and ways to move. But if we get caught up in negative uh, situations, all those positive efforts are forgotten about or go down the drain, or, or you erect tremendous barriers to them. Now, as I say, I'm speaking to you with a straight tongue and not a forked tongue, and I, wouldn't, I know you wouldn't want me to speak any other way. Two, two final points about a treaty commission. We are not a treaty commission. If you really want, the, want us to pass, to set up a treaty commission or recommending one, we will go home and present that recommendation to our superiors. As I said, we will promise to do and we will respond. But we are not one now, and I can't tell you now that we will, in fact, do this. Now, the second point I know you want to hear about is the date for our next meeting. As you remember, the letter from Mr. Garment of May 4th, the original letter, said we would meet here in the third week in May, and we have, and we'd have a meeting, and then we would talk here about the possibility of a second meeting. Uh, I'd be glad to have you. I think the, the initiative is yours now. I think you might make a, somebody here make a motion, and pass a resolution, or you know, pass a motion, or talk about it, and then pass it, or vote on it, about when you think a next meeting should be, and we will include that in the recommendations that we take back to Washington. I don't know that I can make the promise again here this afternoon, but I'd like to have your views as to when and where you think it should be, and maybe that should best be in the form of a motion, so that is something specific we can take back with us. So Chairman, thank you very much for having me given us the floor. And again, for all, on behalf of all of us, we've come, we've come here in sincerity. I think we've listened in sincerity, and we go away in sincerity. And you will hear from us again. You will not be a void or a vacuum. You will hear from us. And uh, I want to thank you for your hospitality and, uh, and generosity. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Oh. Well, nice. Good. Thank you.